recording? I am. Uh, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Mac from SP3. We just saw, not just saw, it's been a few, oh, Jesus, look at this. Christmas, everybody loves Christmas. I do, too. Just the day. And then, actually, you know what? The first few, the first few hours where I open stuff and watch people open stuff I bought, and then I'm done. I want no more Christmas music. I want no more Christmas fucking songs. I you want nothing. the food? Yeah, I guess. Come on, there's a lot of things to enjoy about Christmas. People pretending they're good people, right? Exactly. And they're going right back to shit the next day. Yeah. Bums. How is that good? All good things. How is good people being people, people, tr people act, try to act good. <laughs> I mean, how about you do it the whole year, you cunt? It's more than they try for a lot of the year, but... Eh. Fair enough. Uh, we just saw No Way Home um, a few days ago, I yes. assume. And it's been long enough to where... I now put a spoiler warning still. Fuck it. Uh, however... I've heard a lot of you going nuts about how much you love this movie. I heard people simply say it's better than Endgame, or just as good as Endgame, or it's better, it's the best MCU movie, or this, that, the fucking third. I must say, I love the movie. Let me be clear, I love the movie, but it's not in my top five. I'm sorry, it's not in my top five. I'm looking at it here, it's not in my, it misses my top five. Give me your top five. I'll give me my top five. Ready? Winter Soldier, because it's perfect. It's just a perfect movie. Don't want anything else about it. Infinity War, because Thanos might be the greatest character in MCU history. It is what it is. Uh, Thor Ragnarok, because it is infinitely rewatchable. Even when it's on TNT, I stop to watch it. I love that fucking movie. Endgame, for obvious reasons. Civil War, which is underrated. As is Zemo. As is Zemo. He's fun too. And then I go Spider-Man No Way Home. I love the character. I love the fucking... Uh, I thought Zendaya was great. I thought uh, the, all the villains were fantastic. And I love how it actually had stakes for Peter. And he didn't win everything. You can't get every goddamn thing. What do you got? I got uh, number one, Infinity War. I feel like that's the best superhero movie with the best villain that's ever been created uh, in, yeah. in Thanos. Um... Number two, I got Civil War because I I feel like just superhero versus superhero it was just so cool and unique to see. It, it was just it was just so cool what they what they did and then I, I agree with you. Zemo was the intelligent, the psychological villain who broke people down with by being smarter and working smarter, not harder, basically. Yes. Um, number three, I got Winter Soldier. Like, yeah, like you said, it's just a great film. Like, spy. It's a spy thriller meets a superhero movie. Yes. So it's just that great mix, and plus a lot of revelations about, uh, you know, Steve and, and you know what's went down with Shield and everything. So there's a lot to take away from that. Uh, number four. I know Guardians of the Galaxy, because for you, you say Thor Ragnarok's the most uh, repeatable uh, movie. I think it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Whenever it's on FX, I stop. And I, watch it, <laughs> I watch it, and I, I, I wait for my favorite parts. Like, like nothing goes over my head. My reflexes are good. That is weird, Lord. I, I, I laugh at that line every single freaking time. And then, um, number five, I go Endgame. Then I'll go Endgame. I go, yeah, Endgame is just... The culmination of you know all these movies coming into one, all the characters coming in together. It just I, I feel like if Endgame and Infinity War was the original thought of just one movie, mm -hmm. the question of what's the best MCU movie would not be debatable if that was one movie. Okay. Because I feel like they have the best parts of each other, and if you put it together, it's the perfect movie. And then six, I had to go No Way Home. So we got similar. Yeah. yeah. In the movies that we You got. incorrectly have the Guardians up there, but other than that, it's a pretty solid You incorrectly there. got Ragnarok there. Um, <laughs> um, favorite parts of No Way Home. Uh, if you're watching, I hope I remember this spoiler one. If I don't, you're fucked up in your own. Um, Daredevil's probably my favorite part because that's my favorite fucking. I just, I, that instantly got a pop for me, and I'm like, there, I'm like, there with my sister, and she's like, who's that? <laughs> like, this is only for the hardcore Marvel fans. <laughs> uh, that was great. Obviously, the two Spider-Men showing up was great. I thought them uh, swinging through the fucking, uh, turning around the uh, 
Statue. Oh, thank you, Statue of Liberty. I've lived in New York 30 some years, I don't remember the fucking name. Uh, Statue of Liberty, <laughs> after the Work Together speech was brilliant. I thought the conversation was one of my favorite parts. I did like The that. conversation with all three Peters. Um, them doing the Spider-Man meme in the movie. Oh, that was great. That but was great. Let's not forget about uh, uh, the Green Goblin meme. I'm summing up scientists myself. I thought that was hilarious. You know, nobody else laughed in the theater. It was just me. I, I laughed <laughs> um, I thought Jamie Foxx was really good. Felt significantly different than the rest of the characters. But by the obvious reason. I thought you'd be black. And I love, I love that. I love that conversation with... Uh, with uh, uh, Andrew Garfield's Sp Spider-Man, like, I, I thought you'd be black. Because <laughs> maybe one day we'll get a black Spider-Man. Everybody popped for that long. Yeah, that was great. Uh, anything else? Off the top of my fucking head? I feel like I missed one. Oh, Aunt May. Jesus. That almost got me. I'm not a big movie theater crier. And by not big, I mean I've never done it. Um, it almost got me. It almost got I, uh First of all, Marissa May is hot as shit. That's number one. Number two, she's a great actress. And number three, I was just invested. I just, I bought it. This hit so much more than Toby's Spider-Man losing Uncle Ben. Because literally, when you think back to those movies, we spent what? 20 20? minutes with Uncle Ben? Yeah. Not three fucking films. Like, they dedicated three films to build a relationship between Aunt May and and Peter. Really, they spent like four or five films, if you include the Avengers and Civil War that he was also in, Aunt May was in. So you got all these films building up to this moment where he loses her. It's just, it's a heartbreaker. It's one of it's one of the toughest MCO, MCU scenes that I've ever seen. Immediately when she gets struck with the with the Green Goblin's uh, glider crap. Yeah. I was just like, no! I was like, no, 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 no! He's just trying to help. Like, we don't need these type of consequences. Right? To help them. Like, I was like, no, don't do this to us, man. You already destroyed the whole place. You got, you got, you got all this bad attention on Peter, and then you just add this to the mix. Oh, that fucking rough. I still have Spider-Verse ahead of this. I cannot tell a lie. I still Spider-Verse. I love Spider-Verse. Spider-Verse was amazing. I, I, I heard a lot of people tell me this, tell me to watch it, and I was on a, a plane ride, and I watched it, and I was just blown away by just visually, the story, the you know the character growth, the character arc for uh, Miles Morales. It's great. It's a, it's a great film, top to bottom. And it, it, that's the only thing that I think is an argument for No Way Home at this point. Um, I saw people that put Spider-Man 2 ahead of No Way Home, which I thought is just the most popular. It's, pe this is, this, it's people like that is the reason why Vince McMahon keeps bringing back all these motherfuckers from the 1980s. And the 1990s <laughs> because they, know they are people that just live on nostalgia. And no matter what type of facts are presented in front of them, their nostalgia in their head tells them this is better. And it's not. It's just not. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, I agree. I Spider-Man 2 is great. And Doc Ock is great. As he was in this movie, by the way. And I love him getting a redemption. So it's far he yes. got the raw end of the stick, so to speak. Um, Most of Spider-Man's villains yeah. get a raw end. That'd be weird as we get more and more, like, woke. So to speak, are we just gonna have superhero movies where we try to fucking <laughs> cure villains? Like Batman's got a lot to do. I mean, Jesus. Um, Batman got that. <laughs> right? I can't just punch him in the face anymore. Oh. It's really bad for him. <laughs> um, but yeah, a Spider Verse. I I don't like Miles. Like as a character, let me be clear. Let me clean this up. Comic book Miles kind of stinks. He feels like a token kind of. Uh, just make Spider-Man black and fucking Puerto Rican. Uh, yeah. Or is it Dominican? I forget. I think he's black. He's, he's half black, half... Afro-Latino. Afro, Afro <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, we cleaned it up there, yeah. Um, he, yeah, he just stinks. And, I'm sorry. He, uh, he just stinks. But in the movie, he's fantastic! Oh, my God! Yeah. He has death. Yes, has death. dude! <laughs> you just see him grow? I love that fucking movie. So I was on Spider-Man, then fucking No Way Home, and then I don't really care after that because it's a big gap. Um, I'm sorry. I go, I go. 
It's tough for me. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be different from you. Okay. I'm, putting, I'm putting No Way Home ahead of Spider Verse. So I'll go No Way Home, Spider Verse, Spider Man Two, Far From Home. I do like Far From Home. I love Far. I I feel like because No Way Home was so great, people are not gonna remember how fantastic Far From Home was, and the ending is one of the best endings it for is. post credit scenes. To, to an MCU film there's ever been. That reveal of Mysterio having the backup plan is... It's, is yes. Not, not, it not is. Not. It is. He, she gets, he gets a list of villains for me. He, he was a great villain. And uh, I think, I think, I think the, the, that scene is the whole reason that this movie had the buzz it did before anybody saw it. Uh, certainly. I, I agree. I mean, in the, the leaks, obviously, people assuming yeah. we're going to get three Spider-Men. Um... Was gonna say. Only thing that holds Far From Home back for me is, is still too much Iron Man. You know, it's just him, just his glasses and his. I, I'm sorry. I just it bothers me. It bothers me a lot, which is why I cannot wait for the new trilogy because it should be a fucking Iron Manless trilogy, and I will be fucking here for it. Um, it's I mean, you're the Peter of the college years. That's what. That's what we're getting. Like. <laughs> Yeah, and I, ugh, are we done? I, it feels like it's going to be a, like a kind of a new start because the other the, the other two, uh, Zendaya, what's her name? Michelle. Michelle yeah. and Ned are going to be in MIT while he's going to be somewhere in New York because uh, we can't, yeah. can't move better. Probably right. finding a way to work for Jonah Jameson. Yes. How did I not even think about that? I, we're going to get... the apartment, I was like... Oh, We're gonna get the original, like the original Spider-Man stuff. Let's go! I didn't yeah, think about that. We're getting all the stuff that, that from the original Spider-Man now, so I like it. And you know, like, there, there's people that have said that he could make like his own, like when they can mix up the order and stuff. You can do that. A Gwen and stuff, but I think I think that the the next three is about building to somehow MJ remembering Peter. That, that's the, that's the thing that we want. That's the one thing that yes. we're just like like it, 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 that's why the ending like uh, we were just doing AE ramble over on the Trio e YouTube channel, and I can't say that this is a real happy ending. Yes, it's a realistic ha uh, ending for for Peter of this tr trilogy, but it's not a happy ending. He lost May. He lost Ned. He lost MJ. So like. That that feeling in that that scene with him at the coffee shop, with seeing Ned and and MJ on their way to M MIT, it was just like, oh come on, like, just yeah, yeah. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, it hurt. I will say this, however, I would like to know more about how the spell works. Uh, did it erase people's fucking uh, YouTube videos about fucking Peter Parker and Spider Man? I'm not entirely sure how that would all work. I mean, it's magic, so I guess it could, right? Just yeah. fucking. I'm just saying. Uh, I think that's... But I think, I think the best way to go about it would be Peter saving M... Oh, well, Spider-Man saving MJ. And, and MJ falls in love with Spider-Man now. Oh, um, okay. But she doesn't seem like the type. You know, they've done a great, yeah, they've done a great job, by the way, of... How do I say this politically correct? Uh, she was rather frumpy in the first one. And they just kind of glammed her up, but not over the top, just kind of got rid of the nonsense up until now where we can see she is classically attractive. Uh, that's the best way I can put it. But she's still that character, so I don't know if she would fall in love with Spider-Man because he saves people, which seems more like, uh, what's her name? Kirsten, Kirsten Dunst. Dunst. Yeah, Mary, that Mary Jane version of... Oh my god, you wear a suit. You're probably a psychopath. So, so clearly Zendaya is the superior MJ, right? This is not a discussion. Not it close. is what it is. I'm sorry. Um, so relatively close. <laughs> no. Uh, no. It goes Zendaya. I don't care enough to... No, yeah, just, I guess we Gwen, because I, I don't love Mary Jane at all. It's kind of awful, to be honest. <laughs> and how, how would you rate your... Let's go first Peters. How would you rate your Peters? Ooh, <laughs> my Peters. <laughs> um, Tom Holland is number one. I'm sorry. Tom McGuire is great, but he's a 40-year-old man in fucking high school. It looks preposterous, number one. Uh, and Tom Holland was perfect. So I'm going Tom Holland, then I'm going... As much as I like Andrew Garfield's look as Peter, he feels too cool for school to be fucking 
Peter to me. So I'm going Tom Holland, Tom McGuire, and Garfield. I think I, I agree with that as far as the the Peter the Peter part of it. Yeah, I, I I have to agree with that. And I think the the main thing with Andrew Garfield why he looks cool to me is because I I never not see him as uh, Mark Zuckerberg's best friend in Social Network. That, that is was the first time I ever I ever saw him. Really, he he will always be that guy. He just that guy playing. Peter Parker. To be fair, that is who I think. That's why I just think he is. That's why I always assume he just plays himself. Uh, I don't matter. I don't know who. It's a good movie, by the way. It is a great movie. <laughs> Fucking um, what is his name? Uh, um, Zuckerberg. What is his name? Uh, Eisenberg. Yes, was, Jesse Eisenberg. Jesse Eisenberg. Yes. Yeah. Dude, just the perfect. Oh, I want to throw this guy down some steps, but I can't stop watching him. Like, 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 how, how do you this person be like it, it's like the first 30 minutes or 30 40 minutes of the movie he's he, they present him as a protagonist yeah. but slowly but surely they reveal things about him that is clearly he's the antagonist of this movie <laughs> oh it's a complete piece of garbage um i don't want to get too sidetracked but as much as i love the villains in this movie can we agree that this is i want to say the weakest it's not the right word for it there was no real number one protagonist. It's Goblin, if you got to pick one, obviously. But um, nobody really did any Vulture things for me. I love the Vulture in the first one. He's such a great villain. Michael Keaton crushes that shit. And Mysterio does a really good job, too. Yeah, Mysterio did a good job, but I'm sorry. Willem, Willem Dafoe, he steals the <laughs> fucking show a lot of times. <laughs> he just... He is like uh, I've never understood the uh, the term scene like scene chewer. They chew through the screen yeah. or like chew through the scene. That's what William Defoe William Defoe did a lot of time during this movie. Him with Aunt May and Peter at the at the at the little like, the shelter. Just him like like breaking down psychologically in the in the alleyway with the green. Oh, that was great. Then, then the turn, then the, 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 the <laughs> turn that you reveal. That's a oh neat trick. God. I was like, oh my god. He's by the way, he feels so cartoony compared to fucking the MCU. Even it yeah. just works. He feels like from a different universe. He's hilarious. I, yes. I love that movie. I, I view him as the antagonist. Of oh, this he, movie. yeah, it's gotta be. You kill that man. Oh, absolutely! Like that was that was the the, the seal the seal one of the, and then and then he even adds to it when you think he kills Peter he kills Toby Peter. Oh right? my God. I was I gotta be honest. I don't gonna say I hope for it, but it would have been all right. Let's talk about that because that that threw me for a loop as far as like uh, arcs and lessons and redemptions go because Peter tries to kill the Green Goblin. He tries to murder him with his glider, and then Toby stops him. I, I don't, and then he doesn't. I, I, that feels weird to me. Is it just me? Like, I'm just like, oh, we're not going to try to kill him again? Why not? Because Toby stopped you, but he's gone now, so fucking kill him. Like, I, I just felt weird. I'm glad he didn't. No, I'm just well, saying. He gave him the antidote right after that. That was when uh, Andrew's Peter throws it. But we had the antidote. Like, it was there. <laughs> Wait, he's not going anywhere. He's beaten. That was weird. I'm not mad. He wasn't beaten. He stabbed, he stabbed Toby. So we just... <laughs> Yes, because you got in the way, sir. Why are you in the way? I'm trying to impale this cop sucker. We don't kill people. We're better than that. I don't stop pulling my punches. Uh, yeah, I love that movie. All that aside, you know, we talk about everything under the sun. I love that movie. If you haven't seen it, we spoiled everything for you. Uh, so there's that. Uh, <laughs> you have a plug? Uh, check out our wrestling YouTube channel, True Heel Heat. You can see me and Jimmy reviewing... AEW Dynamite Holiday Bash this week on AE Ramble number 22. So check that out, as well as my interview with the original GOAT, Mickey James. That's true. Oh, as well. God, you don't understand. You don't understand. So in 2006, I was 18 years old. Yep, about to poke right through my pants. Um, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. Oh.